So the preview for this movie, Oliver Stone makes it, he's really liberal baiting people. Like, you know, everybody wants to go see this movie to make fun of George W. Bush, the idiot president, right? It looks like a satire. It looks crazy. He's like, Rah! screaming. It says Poppy Bush, right? Oh, totally. We get into the theater. There's a lot of anti-Bush stuff there. Sold out, big crowd. And then what happens? The movie starts. And a lot of people laugh for like 15 minutes. Because they want to. And then. Not so much laughter. It's serious. Yeah. So what you want? Come on, baby. Working in the investment firm wasn't for you either. Or the oil rig job. You didn't exactly finish up with flying colors in the Air National Guard, Junior. What are you cut out for? Parting, oh! chasing tail, driving drunk. Right, I got it. I got it. Oh! So this movie was filmed in 45 days, and uh, the rush to get. Uh, Oliver Stone's W into theaters, obviously before election day, was a really big deal. Uh, Nick and I have just come from the screening of W, and uh, my name's Eric uh, from scenestealers.com. Obviously, this is Nick Colby, and he is also uh, my bass player in our band, The Dead Girls. Yep. And uh, a big George W. Bush fan. Ah, this movie drove me crazy. I, it started out, and when the movie started, I got completely freaked out because I was thinking about, like, Cheney and and Rumsfeld, all the all the people underneath Bush that caused caused him to become the president. Underneath Bush, yeah, that yeah, caused him to become the president. Yeah. These are the same guys who got a, a, another actor elected back when it was Ronald Reagan, and he right. had to act like more of a president than Jimmy Carter. And now we digress so far. We're watching a president, an actor, play the president now yeah. as a joke, and that just blew my mind. It's very meta. Come here. I'd like you to meet George Bush Jr. A lot of people are going to come away from this movie thinking that this was a very sympathetic portrayal of a president. But what Stone is actually suggesting here is the president that we know, the guy that we see clearing brush, you know, uh, on his ranch, the guy that we see stumbling his way through press conferences, that's the man. That's the real man. That's what he's trying to say in this movie. And the fact that people think that's sympathetic that's terrible because that's not what it takes to run the free world. Oh, it, it freaked me out, man. Because I hope that Oliver Stone took like a bunch of liberties in this movie because <laughs> if this is really truly it, Ugh. oh, jeez. I, I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine. I, I, I completely am sick to my stomach. He says from the beginning, I don't want to be president. He doesn't want to be president, you know? He's never wanted to be president. He just kind of fell into it, you yeah. know, and found out that people liked him because they wanted to have a beer with him. I think this movie is a lot more incendiary than people are going to give it credit for. Well, he's such a tragic character in this movie. Like, I mean, I, I, okay, he, you know, Josh did a great job. He just portrayed a sympathetic, pathetic guy so much that you're like rooting for the underdog. You're rooting for him. He's got the same charm. Yeah. That George W. Bush has. They're both handsome guys. They both have that aw shucks thing. And so you root for him. Yeah. And you find yourself rooting for somebody who I consider to be possibly the worst president of all time. It's a really uncomfortable feeling, and it's a really good movie. Yeah. I'm going to have to give this movie a uh, solid rock fist up. I'm definitely rock fist up, for sure. For solid? Sure. Solid. No, I'm going solid. All the way? I, I have to see it again. I have to see it again. And I'll, that, that right there shows that there's more to it than just just like a cool movie. It's yeah, I got to see it again. So, yeah, solid rock fist up. Two solid rock fists up. <laughs>